Right, so I remember a few weeks ago, I was doing a bag for friends and fitting a filter and all two approved results. Well, we're back there today and it is roasting. It's like 30 degrees and I've got to work in the loft and it's a Saturday. Customer's back at work now, so I said I'll come on a Saturday for her. So yeah, what we're going to do, fit a radiator, do the new diverter valve, check out the system, see what it actually looks like. Let's get to it. This is going to be fun. Right, back in the loft. I forgot where the light is, I think it is. Okay, let's check out this filter. So I haven't been back since. Clean's been in for about, I think two, three weeks now. Wow, that is screaming hot, that is. It's so warm today. So, left all this here. Let's isolate that. That's off. And the customer has been running the heat in the best they can as well. And the water, even though the temperature has been red hot. So here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> I'm going to swing that round. Look at that, I'm an idiot. Oh no, we can get it out, we're alright. That ain't too bad. That really ain't too bad. I'm just going to drain it down. So yeah, that's just. So I haven't been up, I haven't cleaned the filter or nothing, I haven't been back since. Ain't too bad, that eh? So let's drain it down. Let's put a leave valve in. Gosh, there you go. Let's drain it down now. Let's get these radiators bled now. These weren't working, that's the one we left. So I'm just going to bleed the rats, get all the water out, have a drink, see what the water's looking like as we're going down. There's one in this room. That one in that room, this one will be fitted as well. That one there. They've got two existing ones. They've got one in the bathroom there. And one in the bedroom there. Little diddy one that is. So just open all the vents and to be fair, the water is not looking bad at all. Yeah. So yeah, I think because the master radiator has been placed, there's only four new radiators on. So I think I think we're gonna be fine with that. I mean that radiator there that I'm replacing that one. I isolated that on the system. Now I'm thinking because it's on one point. So I've turned that one off. Maybe that's what's stopping the other radiators working. Because directly above that one is the two that wasn't working, and the back of that one is another one that wasn't working. I hate great when you have a break from a job and things start clicking together like you're thinking I, don't, I never even thought of that when I was here last time it's probably because I was too busy worrying about that I haven't done the flush properly so sometimes you know what I'll take a step back 30 doors but I think we're going to be okay today that might be my famous last words so I'm just going to quickly replace the diverter valve and I think I'm going to cut in a balancing valve on the hot water return now, how can you can hear it is like 100 degrees up here, so I've got my fan. I'm just going to quickly do that. So I'll just undo these three nuts, get that out, get a new one in. I've got the new one ready on a uh, region plug. So yeah, then we're really good. Region plug, I'll just cut that. Yeah, just get that in. New diverters in. I'll just put a balancing valve just down there so I can balance the hot water later. I would have recorded it guys, but I just wanted to get out of it, he's screaming up here, but yeah, that is all done, balancing valve and diverter, let's get out of this loft man, I am screaming up. So this is the radiator the customer's got, so I'm going to fit that onto there. Right, so he's going to take the old radiator out, so I've turned off the valves, undone the nuts, on either side, and these flat heads, what you do, do that, they're gonna, they're gonna be rock solid, are they? Got oh, yeah. Pretty sure I need to take the one side out. I reckon I can lift it up now and swing it that way. Right, just 
than do the other side. Okay, it's all right. There should be nothing come out of this, should be drying, but I have gone dust it now just in case. Just mossy off. There you go, that's off, just left the other bracket on. Let's get that out. Our favourite type of wall, cavity wall. Uh, we have got some fixings to that though, uh, that we use, so yeah, just get these old brackets off and we can line up the new radiator. So yeah, bracket them off. I don't know how to make that look good, to be honest with you. I can't, there's nothing I can do with that pipe works buried in the wall, so I'm not going to have to line it up with that valve or that valve and have a piece coming across. Or centre it and then both are coming across. It's just going to look good either way. So I spoke to the customer, they said put it in the centre, then two bits of pipe come across. I can't do anything with the wall, I can't knock the wall out to move the pipe, so that's what I have to do. It is buried in that cavity wall, so... Yeah, put it in the middle and put the pipes into it. I'll show you what I've done to line it up. So I took a measurement from that pipe to that pipe, which is 700. So I marked 350 in the centre, then the centre of the rad, which was that line there. Put that in the centre. Now, I didn't know where to put my brackets, here and here, or on the ends. I looked in there, I thought, mm, on the ends are gonna look better, so there's a bit too close together in them two. So, bracket on either end, that is ready to line up the brackets now. So we can put the radiator in enough wherever we want. Um, so we're gonna be redoing that pipe work anyway. I'm gonna sweat that elbow off, it should be fun. I'm gonna get the wet back out, because that's still full of water. So yeah, let's, um, let's have a look at the new toy we've got. So give me this try, it's a Lasgo. Let's go, Lasgo. It's a laser level. So we've been sending this out to give it a try. Let's unbox it and have a look. Let's get the box. That's a small little case that is. Pretty robust, let's see what's inside. So, what we got? Instruction manual, who reads them? Might give that a read later. Wow, to be fair, this is looking smart. This is looking smart. So it's all rubber. Laser level on top, that is looking smart. So that's where you lay three lasers. Okay, that's looking good. What's a free tripod? So you've got two different ones for your tripod, by the looks of it. If you've got a tripod, that's where the battery's going. That's the battery. So that's rechargeable. Okay. Remote controlled. A bit of that. Look at that. I like that. And we've got a charging cable in the back here. So now I need some batteries. It's fully rechargeable. Let's set it up and have a look. Okay, so this is a stand. It's got a measuring, measuring thing there in centimetres to inches. So you can put it on and adjustments. That's the lock there. Oh, wow. I think that's to make adjustments up and down. Should really read the instructions, but let's wing it. Let's wing it. Let's set it up and have our battery cars in there. Let's get that in. Battery in. Turn it on, see what happens. Whoa. Okay, I've got lines everywhere. Lines coming out of everywhere, look at this. I mean, it's quite a sunny day. And that's as clear as anything. And obviously when it's steady, it'll give you a, a nice line. You know, so it's, it's really sunny today. But that, that's quite yeah. clear. Okay, the height that we want for the radiator. You see the line that I put on earlier? actually side adjustments on this so you can move it left and right so if I was on turning that you'll see it'll start to move it I think you can see if I move this and actually move it left and right so this one on this side actually moves it up and down so it's dead easy to move it up and down I mean that's got some on it, that has. So one thing I always struggle with these is you just buy a level and it don't have nothing like this with you. Nothing where you can adjust it like that. It's mine, eh? I've got a different brand one that I've been using. Yeah, I've got nothing like that. That is really good, especially for radiators. It's got I'll measure from, I'll do the bottom bracket, um, any rad. Some people measure to the top, but I always do the bottom. So that is going to be perfect for hanging rad. So we've got loads of other way we want it. 
So we're gonna to need to be on that line. Bottom of the bracket. Let's move that up slightly because I don't want that bright and skateboard, so let's just unlock that and move it up. Nice and simple. Try that. That's better. Lock that in. And you can put our bracket on the wall. And that's where we want our bracket. These are going straight into wood, these are. Let's try it. Yeah, what I did was I put the um, the top on the line instead of the bottom. Yeah, my mistake. I know what I did. So I have just moved them down. Put that on. There we go. They're the height that I wanted. It's only too close to the skirting. So yeah, that's near the same height as the old radiator. So we've got to split them elbows off now and make some connections up. What you can actually do now is put your top bracket on and mark where you want your top bracket. Just mark it there at the top. Do the same on the other side and you can hang your top bracket. Yeah, on the top one we ain't as lucky, okay, that is a cup of tea. So let's show you those ball fixings into here. They are really good. I don't think it'll fit and get that a little smaller than these. First thing you'll need 20 mil spade bit. What you can do. So the hole is just make a hole. Let's do this one first. Next thing you want to do, grab a collar and get that in. There you go. Get that in. Just get your hammer, give that a tap. Collar in. Push that insulation back in. So collar in. Just gonna turn that one sideways. Let that one up. There we go. Once you've got your bath collars in, you've got this thing here, I'll call it the fish. It looks like a fish. It just, uh, it just opens up inside the wall now. Just like that. So, get your fish. Pop him in, then give him a tap. Just need to screw in too now. Trust me, that'll be rock solid. When I was install that, I pulled myself up on two of these fixings. Um, rock solid. So we turn that one sideways, so we day have a lot with that one. Here you go, two ball fixings in. Do the same for that side, get the radiator on. Just get the red tail in, just get the one going. And we are going to be using that rapid blue stuff. Oh, I absolutely love this stuff. Well, make sure you got to dust it down because if it gets on the carpet or anything, it's absolutely pain to get out. That's it. That's all I'm going to tell you. They don't need to go any more than that, just finger tight. Do that five minutes and that'll be rock solid. So what I'm gonna do now is get my wet back onto here because there's a lot of water in there. Right, so to get this pipe in, what we're gonna do is it's coming down, I'm just gonna tighten that in. Make sure you got plenty on it. Okay, that's tighten. Tighten that one. What we're gonna do is put a bend on a bit of pipe. Yeah. Put it across to this pipe here, and across that pipe there, and wherever the, wherever the cross, that's where we want to make our cuts, so, on that one there, that one there, so wherever the cross, it's going to cut that now, and that should be perfect. What we do there, we have to take this valve off. Bring that in. Make sure that's in. Make sure that's in. Bring that to there. There we go. There's all in. Get that solder up. Right, 
I saw so done. What you gonna do exactly the same, the other side, and that should all match up. Let's have a bit of tidy up, and there you go. That's the radiator all in and done. Just gotta fill it all back up now. Just gonna leave the drain hose on just in case we do have a leak. We'll quickly drain it down. Let's get back in that loft. Put some tight on there. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, it'll fill back up now. We're not gonna put the inhibitor in yet. We're just gonna wait for it to fill up. Make sure we've got our legs, then put the inhibitor in. Stairs, stairs, there's no legs on up in there, so get the inhibitor in. Downstairs and uh, leave the bad. No, for that should all be okay. Right, so we're all filled up. Took about half oh, hour. Need a pump. We have got an airlock, so I've been bleeding it from there. Two bleed points over there. I've been bleeding it, but we can actually do stop the pump. Restart and just pulse it. That should clear the airlock. Just got to keep doing that. Till you get the air out. You hear a little glug, it makes this sound, it's an amazing sound. When the airlock comes out, because it's just relief. Relief that the airlock's cleared. So, I'll do that now until the airlock clears. Thought it was going to do it then. Thinking about it. No, we'll just keep doing that. Right, good news. All the radiators are working. This one's probably the slowest one. But it's at the end of the one pipe system that they've got in, so it's like a mixture of one pipe, two pipe. This is um, so it's, it's never going to be the best. Uh, this one in here, that one's getting rid of. So I might just banish that one there so it feeds that one a bit more. Yeah, that's all done. So I just had a final check in the loft. Yeah, make sure you get all the air out. You probably listen to it now, sounds a lot better. So, yeah, that's all done on now. I didn't record it, but I did, I did clean that out, put it back. So the last thing I'm going to do is an AD project. Just make sure the EDT levels and everything is correct. And all the corrosion is out of there. Here's the AD project. I'm going to do it from the radiator we just put in. Just got to take a sample in there. So I'll just do that from there. If you want, yes, it's got a filter. Done that. Now that's me to take a photo of the water sample. Go put that. I mean, got to the test. So yeah, it will come down to time that. So we have to do. Sure we'll time this on here. Come in, strips. Plonk it in. Two, three seconds. Get it out. Let it dry for a minute. There we go. So you put it on your project sheets. We've got a few of them in there. Continue with the app. Just gonna ask me now to scan that. Can be a bit tricky sometimes. Got that eventually. There you go. That's all passed. So there is a plot twist to this. But before I do that, I'm gonna announce the winner of the 1k giveaway so all i've done is i've done a random comment picker and they can follow these on google so I just pasted the link from the youtube video put it in there picked the winner and it came up with this name congratulations well done mate i'm gonna be in touch to get this posted to you thank you to everyone that entered and of course when we get to 2k i'm gonna do another giveaway because it's gonna be 2k it's gonna be bigger and better than the last one i did so yeah, here's a plot twist. After all that work, I've done a new pump, new diverter, clean the system out, service the boiler, make sure it's all running right. You did say that on the video, but I've done that beforehand. Towards the end of the job, turn around and says, think about having a combi boiler, you know. I thought, why? He says, well, we get no pressure downstairs and we're thinking about placing the shower, it's on a pump, we don't like the pump. I was like, okay, you sure? Because I've got this system running, like, near enough spot on there. like, yeah, we think we're going to have a combi. So, after all that, we're going to be back for part three to fit a combi.